I'm Joe Posner. I'm the Vox.com video director. We make videos that explain the news in a simple way and give context to the kind of rapid fire breaking news things that happen. The, the biggest kind of indicator of our brand is our visual style. You know, a lot of what we do is designed and, and animated. It's motion graphics. And so that communicates who we are. Probably more importantly than how it looks is the voice and the approach to, to what's the, what the story is. So our writers always kind of take the approach of like, what's behind this thing that happened? Um, it's very rarely like, this just happened. Here's what you need to know. Most people already know what just happened and they want to know why it happened. And that's what we're answering every time. It seems like in the world of online video, the best practices are always kind of evolving. Uh, it's hard to say like there's one thing that you have to do that like is the right thing. But generally, you know, we do use, you know, we put a logo towards the front of our video. We use end tags to make sure people, you know, have a chance to subscribe and see and like what else we've done. And we put our logo on all our thumbnails, which helps kind of people differentiate along, along that right side. Like all these things are also by us and have that same brand. People go to Google or to YouTube with questions they have about the world. So just, just like any news format, it's really important that news providers go where the people are and people are on YouTube. And that ends up leading to like massively more sharing of what's, of what's made on YouTube. Every headline we're very careful with. Uh, there's a, actually, we use Slack at Vox.com and there's a room that is specifically for focus grouping headlines. We usually pitch several headlines. You know, we're figuring out what the best one is. We try to keep it below 70 characters uh, for YouTube because after that it just starts getting cut off. Um, some people try to keep it to 50. We, we, we like, we're okay with 70. Um, and the metadata, you know, we, we, we add that ourselves. I make sure people understand uh, it's on us to do it right first. Uh, and the most important reason why is when we're hitting something fast, it's just like anything to slow you down is, is, is a killer. You just want to get it up as fast as possible. So everyone, can, everyone should know how to do it. It's not that hard. I feel like we're only just scratching the surface of the ways we could use YouTube. Uh, there are so many ways to experiment from the new features like uh, the 360 degree video. I just can't wait to, to figure out how to use that. Um, I feel like the, you know, maybe annotations are, are phasing out, but I still feel like we never did a big crazy annotation experiment or an info card experiment where like the purpose of the video is to use these weird features. But I mean, most importantly, it's just like the best experimentation is is the one that you come up with that day. Like, and you just kind of like lower the bar of just putting out stuff. I, I think that's what's been working for us. The thing that I most love doing is fostering collaboration. It's really hard to get people to believe that they can just like make something today. People want to plan, they want to, you know, have, have a strategy and all of that's really important. But there's no substitute for me walking over to a news writer and saying, come over here, like the thing you just wrote, like I'm going to stick a mic in your face and you're going to tell me like just what happened and, and, and what you found out and use the expertise that's like all around you. Um, and I have expertise in some things and they have expertise in some things and basically doesn't matter what those expertises are because we can always make something work.